Welcome back to another episode of Warren Cali. In this episode, I'm going to talk about rappers R3 the Chili Man and Heem Beezy. Now R3, he's a rapper from Wild Flats Crip in Moreno Valley. He's been making noise for well over a year, and some of his biggest songs are Blimp Camp, Walk Plank Freestyle, and Posse. Now with rapping, he has had some rap beats and some altercations. One of his rap beats and altercations will be with rapper Coot Corleone. Coot Corleone is a South Central rapper who was a crip from the Rolling Hundreds. Him and R3 got into an altercation at a Laker game, which led to R3 getting jumped. Coot will post a picture of what it appears to look like R3 getting stumped out. He will also make random videos about the situation and then go on live. Get a fight like this. That's your boy. Cut told him I hit the radar room one punch. Practically kill him. Cut soft as a marshmallow. One punch, cut fell. I ain't even hitting that hard. Squabble, bro. I'd really rather squabble. I'd really rather get him. I swear to God, I will beat your ass. Then we can do whatever else. Let's fight. Then we can do whatever else. R3's response would just be showing he had all his jewelry and still had no bumps or bruises on him. Nothing else will come from this situation, though. Now, Heem Beezy is a rapper who says he's from LA, but got more known for living in the IE and creating his career there. Heem Beezy has been popping for over a year himself and had multiple songs hit millions of views. Now, both R3 and Heem Beezy would be at a show, and both of their sides are running to each other, and a fight ensued. Him busy supposed to have been on losing side though, getting his chain took and getting clowned all over social media. He raps about the guns he has and what he would do if he got ran up on, but ain't nothing happened in this situation. R3 and his camp will be all over social media, clowning him busy and posting with his chains. Him busy wouldn't be feeling this and will quickly respond. You ain't had that energy with Coop, Coop, Corleone, none of that. Dead homie, I don't even know. I could turn to your eye. I'm nigga feeling all this type of way all these days. I ain't know nothing about it. None of that dead homies. He had none of that energy with Coop. None of that ASM, ASM, Bob Stars. I already know what came next with rap beef. They had to go on Instagram live and argue. You was a Mark dead homie. You was a dead homie. You ain't touch me. My manager made you fly back. Dead homie. You was a Mark. You was a Mark dead homie. After all this, he and Beezy dropped a disc called What Camp, dissing R3 and going at his hood. R3 quickly made it known it wouldn't be no response back and he wasn't going to be dissing on no records. R3 only responded on Instagram and he left it at that. So what y'all think of this beef? Is it lame or y'all see it getting deeper than what it is? This will conclude this episode. If you haven't already, make sure you check out my previous episodes. Don't forget to like. Comment and subscribe.